I am Mark, and this is my journey through tarot, and it's a fun ride. Come on, let's go. Okay, this one's going to be Donnie J, Donnie Jr. We know he's involved. We know he's ready to flip. He's not going to go to jail for his dad. They don't even like their dad. So let's see what the cards have to say for DJ. Okay, this is DJ, Donnie Jr., the main boy. Okay, let's see what the cards have to say for him. So far, I've done Weiselberg, Ivanka. This is Donnie. You know, next is going to be Mama T. So Donnie J, Donnie Jr., what do the cards hold for you, buddy boy? This is the uh, Livre Toff. So this is done by a fellow back, um, gosh, I want to say the, uh, what uh, time period would this have been? Well, let's look at a look. Uh, it just takes a second to open the guidebook and get some uh, ideas out of here. Let's see if it tells me I'm here quickly. No, it does not. But what's interesting about this fellow is that he was a huge popular uh, tarot card reader uh, back in the day. Uh, okay, so this would have been around the uh, 1700s. Uh, his name was Jean-Francois Alliette, but he called himself Alliette backwards for Terra, which was a de Italia. I don't know. But anyway, interesting. This guy would design tarot card readings involving the whole deck spread out, sometimes two or I think three decks uh, at a time, spread out on a table, and he was a phenom of that era regarding uh, these readings. So these cards are pretty cool. They're old uh, world style, you know, harkens back to that, that 1700s, that 18th century period. And um, I just love uh, looking at them. They have some clues on them as to how they can be read. And they're a little severe. And I thought these would be perfect for Donnie. So we're going to use these to see uh, what the cards say for him. You know, I like to uh, mix the cards up like this to give you a chance to look at them and uh, enjoy all the color and the symbolism they have. And also, it's just a good way to mix them up. It's uh, peaceful. It, it gives you a moment to kind of commune with the cards. And if you're doing it with someone else that you're going to read for them, it's a good idea to let them uh, use the cards to kind of get their energy into them. But right now we're going to talk about Donnie Jr. Donnie Jr. I just think all these kids, the first one to flip is going to be the one that gets the best deal. We always know that's how it works. So, and I think the first one to flip uh, might be Ivanka. But, I mean, it's a crapshoot. It could be any one of the three. I mean, Eric might surprise us and crawl out of the uh, woodwork to be the first guy to uh, turn Daddy in. So, let's see how that goes. So, we're going to take six cards right off the top. And I'm going to start over here. This will be one, two, three, Donald Jr., four, five, six. What's your flipping story? <laughs> so... We're going to uh, leave these here because we're going to need it in a moment and we're going to see that the signifier card. Okay, so I've had a mishap uh, with the darn uh, uh, filming of these videos and you just have to trust me that this is the way this came out and um, I've just got to leave it there on the table. I'm having a problem with the phone that I use that actually films these videos in the internal storage. I thought I had cleaned it out, but for some reason it didn't continue to uh, tape. Uh, when I started this, so I picked up the cards carefully and put them back so that I could show uh, in the order that I had drawn them so I can show you what they are. I'm sorry, this is a terrible way to do a tarot reading, but it's all I've got right now. And this was such a powerful reading, you deserve to see what it was. So the signifier of this is um, the um, uh, Page of Wands. And the Page of Wands is bringing information forward. He's bringing a plan forward, uh, and that signifies Donnie. That's in the... Um, um, the challenge to that is the uh, Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords for me is uh, Letitia James. The uh, basis of this reading then is the universe. So Donnie has been the universe of this situation. And then the past of this reading is the Four of uh, Swords, knowing when to take a break and understand uh, what's going to be your next step. In the sky of this reading is the Six of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles is distributing information. So he's going to be the guy going to be doling out some information to the feds and wondering, um, hopefully, hopefully that it's enough to uh, save him from prison time, I guess. And then the uh, first part of this uh, reading then 
uh, ends up with the one, two, three, four, five of swords, which is an abuse of power and being the guy or being, uh, you want to be the guy that picks up the swords and leaves everybody else in the cold and you don't want to be the guy who's been left out in the cold. Then uh, these cards I had already drawn, so I put them back in the deck. Uh, I just want to be completely up front with you. Uh, I don't guess it matters that much, but that's what's happened because I didn't film the first time. So the self of Donnie in this regard is the um, Queen of Cups. So he's hoping that uh, he can save uh, his self. He's very emotional uh, as the Queen of Cups. Uh, he's the, the in charge of his own uh, salvation. That's in the environment of the Five of Cups, and that is uh, worrying about uh, uh, what you're going to spill. How much of this information am I going to spill to save myself and have something left? The, higher, uh, the hopes and the fears of this then is the uh, Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands, the hopes, these are celebrations. So he's hoping that he's going to be able to give it up to come out as a victory. And then the final uh, outcome for this is the um, Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune just tells us that it's a crapshoot for you, Donnie. You may not have been the first to the table and things may not work out the way you thought they would. Okay, so that was my reading for Donnie, and I hope um, it was very interesting to me. And what happened, like I said, is I had dealt all the cards out, and then um, uh, the video didn't record because I had a trouble problem with storage. So I just carefully put the cards back uh, as, as I had drawn them and, and put them out again so you could see the reading. I hate doing it like that, but it was such an interesting read. I just said, I'll put it out that way and uh, tell you about it and uh, you make the judgment from there anyway i'm mark this is my journey through tarot i'm having a blast with these uh readings and um we'll be back tomorrow to do more so ciao for now